Hi, this is David with Straight to the Point Design. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a blurred background. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you would do is take the lasso tool. And if you want, a quick little tip is you can use the control key and the wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out. And what you're going to want to do is select the object that you don't want blurred. So you can just click and multiple clicks will give you the points to go ahead and do this. And we'll go ahead and pause it here so you don't have to watch this whole process being done. One thing I do want to say for the blur uh, one of the things you'll want to do is try to get this, you know, as close as possible uh, to the object because um, anything that's outside that area is going to blur. And to get the most of the effect, uh, you do want to, uh, you know, really get in closely to the object that you're trying to have stilled uh, and not blurred. Another quick tip is while you're doing this, you still have the ability to go ahead and, you know, use the different uh, sliders on the, you know, to move it to the left or to the right or up or down. So, uh, you know, and when you come back, you see it just drops back into place so you can do that. Now, as you can see, I've just completed the selection of the frame and... So one of the first things you want to do here is go up to select and you would actually select feather and you know the five points is good that'll just smooth out uh, some of the edges a um, couple of different things you can do at this point you can either blur the image here or you know you can go ahead and blur the background and in this video we're going to blur the background so you know, we'll go to select and invert. So we've selected the main target of the uh, graphic. And now we're going to go ahead and hit invert. So what that does, is you'll see these lines are now moving. So everything else in the picture, but the initial selection now is, uh, you know, selected. So if we go over to filters and blur, um, a lot of people will use like a Gaussian blur and what that does is just make the background, I guess, a little more fuzzy. Uh, but for this graphic, since it's soccer, I wanted to go with a motion blur. And so we'll do that. And right now it's at five and you can see different things. Like, so like if we take it up to a 30, we'll show you what that looks like. And it's processing here. You'll see it going across the bottom and the bar here. So this picture, everything else is blurred, but this picture stays sharp. Um, and even if we wanted to, you know, go back to the motion blur. And we can actually take that even a little further. So say we go to a 45 and you'll see what happens to the picture. And again, it's processing now. And then now what we'll do is go to select none and it'll remove all selections. And you can see that you have the entire graphic where everything else is blurred with motion. And then it's like a still frame on the person um that's taking the shot so it's kind of a neat effect um anyways um you know we can go ahead and do the undo select and get rid of the motion blurs all together and i can show you the gaussian just so you get a sense for that and let's go over here and we'll just do the five points 
and you'll see that the background got a little fuzzier and more focus on this. Um, but let's go ahead and go back to filters, blur. We'll go to the Gaussian and let's bump that up to a 10 so you can, you know, get a sense for that effect. So again, now if we go back up to select none, you can see that the total focus now is on the one player and everybody else is out of focus. Uh, you can do that with, that, uh, with any background. Uh, anyways, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. If there's any videos you would like to see in the future, uh, go ahead and comment here on our page. Uh, also, I uh, would really appreciate it if you followed us at uh, Straight to the Point Design on YouTube. Have a great day.